Hello everyone, my name is Alan Perszewski and I'm an Engineering Manager for Security Policies Group. And today I would like to talk to you how to contribute to test cases for governed security policies projects. We have a project created where we keep manual test cases that contains features delivered uh, by governed security policies team. And each test case will have steps, a video and expected results for after given actions. I can show you one of the uh, tests that we already created. So here we have a test where it's everything is recorded. You see the result was success. Uh, we have a de short description that uh, informs what actually is happening. Then we have a video, then we have epics and related issues. And then we have all steps that we need to do. First preparation to create new project in the namespace with ultimate license. That will be the same for every single project that you'll uh, create for this test case, as all features delivered by security policies require this ultimate license, and that you need to have GitLab CI YAML file added to the project um, to make sure that pipelines are running. And then you have list of steps. Each step will have expected results. So go to security and compliance and click on policies. Then what will happen? Like, okay, I will see this page. I will see this information and so on and so on. So you'll, you'll see that. So how to contribute to this? As you see, we have here source uh, folder and destination folder. Source will contain uh, all things that are needed to generate something that you see already in destination. In destination, we keep them as markdown files because it makes it simple for us to read it. However, to create them, we try to use some automation. That's why we are creating um, YAML files. And within these YAML files, we have something that we called partials. Partials are just a separate chunk of code that is stored in different place that you can include always. So for example, if you are if you do not want to copy paste your step, you can just uh, copy it to separate step <clears throat> and include a partial. L let me show you that. So here you see the preparation. You have partial preparation. I can go back to sources. <clears throat> I can go to scripts, to partials, and then we have preparation step, which is new project with a single CI job. This is how it's being um, uh, <clears throat> in here. And, and here you see it's just a YAML file with, with a list. So that's just a separate thing that you can do to, to make sure do you, you not to repeat yourself. And then what you have is also, um, because most of the steps can be also repeated. That's why we've decided that we'll probably uh, want to, to also make sure that you can use partials for them. <clears throat> That's why we have created a separate uh, folder with partials for steps. And you can see, go to security and compliance and click policies. And this will already contain a, a step and expect this result for the step. So if you'd like to add something more to it, you can either add it here, then it will be generic for <clears throat> every single uh, step that you're doing. <clears throat> or you can copy copy it and paste in your uh, YAML file and then you'll keep it as well, All right? So let's take a look what we can do to actually create a new project and to start contributing to this project. You have a whole instructions here, what you can do. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open Gitpod for this. So it'll create me a new workspace. And within this workspace, I will be able to uh, to work on on this new test case. So let's see. This will will wait for a while until it's created. All right, and we have a code. So you. Uh, so for example, let's take a look at one of the test cases that we, we can create. Let's say enforce project level scan execution policy to be enforced for pipelines for chosen branches with fast scan to run on the runners with selected runner tags. Wow, this is a long one, but <clears throat> stay with me. Uh, I will show you that. All right, uh, I'll create a new file here. Um, I'll just prepare the next thing. That will be enforce fast scan or pipeline with um, selected branches and tags. 
the best option to start is just to copy some different. Um, so I'll I'll just copy the <clears throat> the one that's the closest, which is SAS scan for pipeline here, and then let's see. And for SAS scan for new project with required license, and I'm gonna copy this. So what I would like to do. is to enforce project level scan execution policies to be enforced for pipelines for chosen branches with SAS scan to run on runners with select runner tags. Okay, create scan execution policy to... So I'll, I'll uh, short this one for project enforced fast with execution policy for project. Fortress and branches run. Okay. The so first <clears throat> preparation new project uh, with single CI jobs and new Ruby, safe Ruby file. What it will do, uh, let's take a look at the preparations tab with the safe Ruby file. Okay, just this tab that will mean oh, add Ruby OS script to this project. This is needed because SAS requires you to create a separate file so it will recognize it. Okay, let's get back. Um, go to security and compliance and click policies. So this is the step that we'll just copy because what we'll do, I can create a new project here. I'll create a blank project. This is like SAS policies test. It will create me a new project. <clears throat> okay, so now I can go to policies. So this is go to security and compliance and click policies. Click a new policy button, which will be this. Okay, click. I'm clicking a new policy button. So you see, it's just copy pasting. I'm not modifying it anything here yet. Click on scan action policy section. Okay, I'm clicking. All right, and then fill the policy name. We're going to name it um, 006. As you can see, you can have fill policy name partial. Um, let's let's take a look here. So you have a step, and you have general, and you have um, fill policy name, which is here. And you can see it uses dollar sign and the name of the variable, that means that you can modify it, the partial with your variable. That is useful if you would like to do something customized, but you also you don't want to repeat yourself. So full name with policy name, and this policy name will be taken from uh, from this uh, file, which is like the replace policy name with this, all right? Then we have step in action section, change the scan to SAS. That's what we would like to do. So first I'm gonna do test, 006 and change it to SAST. Okay. And let's see what we have next. SAST expected results. Field site profile scan profile are not visible. Yes, that is true. Uh, action section is visible with action. Then require a SAS scan to run and runner with specific tag. Let's see. Yeah, that has specific tag. <clears throat> with ability to select runner text icon tooltip and present information. And yeah, this is exactly what is happening. And then the YAML preview is visible with the content. Let's see if it's true. Yeah, just comparing, it's probably true. I just need to update the name of it. Okay, then we can have configured with the merge button, but not yet. What I would like to do now is to modify it a little bit. So I'll probably need to create a new step, right? So to do so, I'll do, I'll call it step. And first of all, we want to choose in branches to run on runners with select runner tags. So, okay. So, in conditions section, modify. Branches to, and let's change it to main and production, or let, let's leave it main only. Okay, for now, let's leave it main to main. 
<clears throat> okay, that was the step. And then we can add the expected results. Um, and I believe we can just copy this and modify our, um, yeah, modify our YAML file because here instead of this, we'll have main, right? This is what happened. We have main. Okay. And then we have separate step. In actions section, modify tags as specific tag. Um, to use one of the selected ones. <clears throat> and then I can I can choose whatever I want. So let's choose something that um, uh, I probably will work. So I can choose like shirt, for example. Okay, shirt. So um, let's say I'm going to use shirt. And here in the tags, I probably will see something like this. And this is exactly what is happening. Okay, YAML file was generated. Uh, and the next thing, configure with the merge button. So I'm going to change it to police name, but it will be 006. Okay. So then again, we have a partial. That means tab general configure with the merge button. So I'm going to configure with merge request. <clears throat> so we already have a partial. Then as soon as it will create a new project for us and it will create a merge request, I have another partial, which means merge. Okay. Merge. <clears throat> and then I can run the pipeline. So th this is a, another step that I can use. So uh, now I'll go to my project. One thing that we haven't done within this project as a, to, to, to prepare it was we have not created two files that are important to run such scan. So let's do it now. Um, because policy will be enforced only if you have certain files in your uh, in, in your repository. So in pipeline editor, what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm going to take a look at what we'd like to actually achieve. So scan execution policies, we have the SAS scan. So I would like to have this copied. Okay. So now it will create me a uh, ability to, to run pipelines. And now I, I can go and create a new file that will run a West script for this project. So let me create a new um, new file for it. It's called run OS script RP, copy it, commit changes. I should do those steps before writing the, the test case. But it, these are not important in terms of how this test uh, case will be evaluated or how scan execution policies will be evaluated. So it's just, you, you probably want to follow the steps if you're running a manual test case because you want to make sure that there is like no discrepancies in terms of when you run certain step. They has to be uh, executed in the following order. <clears throat> However, uh, with the knowledge that you'll gain when working with, with those features, you'll understand that some steps do not require to, to be in a certain uh, order. All right, but that's that's what we did, right? So we have configured the merge button, uh, merge, we're, we're running a pipeline right now, so we can take a look at the pipelines. <laughs> and we see that the pipeline is running and the test was enforced. And uh, so clicking on run pipeline button, test job is visible. And breakman test is also visible. So we can take a look at the breakman test job. And the job has success status, as you can see, right? Because it, it's passed. And that's it. During uh during those steps, you would like to record a video of it. I haven't recorded it, but I will recommend you to, to install, like for example, CAP to do it. Um so CAP is actually quite an interesting project that allows you to record a video of what is happening on your screen without using audio. So it's just your like a screencast uh, and then, then you can export it to MP4 or, uh, uh, or any other format that you can include here. We're using MP4 because that allows us to, 
to include the video editor within this uh, <clears throat> within this uh, markdown editor. Okay, so I should probably modify epics and issues, but I'll not do it right now. You'll do it whenever you'll add new case. Uh, but what's important, I can get back to readme file and. Then you, you, you notice that one of the last steps is create a file, Ruby script generate. Okay, so that's what I'll do. I'll use this script to run it. Okay, it looks like everything was running properly. Let's take a look at the <clears throat> at the destination. And actually, if we have created a new temp, uh, new new file or not? Yeah, the file was created. You already see that it's all including inf important information. So now what you can do is like you can create a new branch. So I can like check out to create new branch and you'll write, okay, Alan, new test case video, something like this. And then I can write down add SAST and force, mm -hmm, add and force SAST with custom tag and uh, branches, I can flex commits. Oh, I, I should add files to that I'd like to commit as well, for sure. Commit, publish branch. Okay, so the branch was published. Now I can take a look at my test cases. It will, it will say, oh, you've put something new. Then you create a new merge request. And then you, you have all things that are needed to actually create a merge request and ask someone to review it. And here you go, you've created your first test case. So this is how you can contribute to those test cases within a test cases project for governed security policies. Thank you. If you have any questions, reach me out on Discord uh, or on Slack and, and have, a, have a nice day. Bye.